What's up, Freshank TV? It's Boy Freshank, and uh, today we are basically going to make a tutorial, um, a review, and um, a how to um, sort of thing on how to hatch brine shrimp. I'm also going to make um, a review on this food here. So, these are both German companies, Sarah and JBL. JBL Artemio makes, which I'm quickly going to unbox here. Um, it's just a little box here. You open, and here you get this one here. And it's gonna go, come with a manual um, sort of thing. Um, it, um, for you American people, it is only on um, American, uh, sorry, uh, Danish, um, Dutch, um, German, and f uh, French. Um, I don't think that it is any other languages but I can tell you here that on Danish it says that you should put about three teaspoons in um, and then you just put in 1.5 liter um, water um, and then you want to use um, you want to either use um, a set for like a set that they make to um, like uh, hedge them but uh, the way that I'm going to do it is make a DOY um, thing. Um, so it is for about 14 cultures, which are going to live for a very long time. Um, and uh, you should keep the. Um, it doesn't really matter the temperature. You just shouldn't get it down to under 15 degrees Celsius. Um, but the problem is, is that if you have a higher temperature, it will hatch much faster. It will hatch within t uh, 24 hours. But uh, if you um, have it on maybe s uh, 18 degrees Celsius, it's basically going to take a longer time. Um, maybe up to 48 hours. But um, so we are going to use also something that it c that can um, aerate the water to the eggs um, and. Already in this mixture, there is food for the cichlids. Um, you can see the alien language here, um, and you know it is um, it is prepared with spirulina, um, some yeast, and all the good stuff. Let's just take a look at how it looks like. It also comes with a spoon, um, a spoon that you can use. It's hard to actually open. I don't know if like it's like a screw sort of child lock thing. Um, there's like this little thing here. I don't think that I need that on here. That's weird. Anyways, I can't open it right now, but I'm going to open it, and uh, then I'm going to see you guys there. All right, guys. So I'm back here, and you can see it's almost like salt, but that is because there's a lot of salt in here. Um, it is about 30% eggs, um, 30%. Um, food and a little bit of salt at the last uh, few points um, and you know it uh, it is really nice it looks like um, my reef crystal salt um, and it is really really um, it looks high quality good and healthy um, and it comes with this little spoon sort of thing right here that you can use um, also as a little thing here to keep it down there and not moisture. So uh, let's get to the Serra Artemia mix. So the Serra Artemia mix is, um, you know, um, a sort of beginner thing. Um, this is also some pre-mixed food um, for 500 milliliters. Um, and uh, you can see the small brine shrimp out here in the, the side. Artemia is brine shrimp for all of you people. Um, and uh, yeah, it basically comes with some instructions, but it's not in Danish. It's only on um, on Dutch, German, um, French, and what is that? In your adulta Okay, that sounds like Italian. So, yeah, um, but it does work. It is pre-mixed as well. But we are going to start to use this run right here. So let's get started by making the DIY hatchery. All right guys, so I'm back here and we are going I'm going to show you how to make um, a brine shrimp hatchery. So first of all, you will need your eggs, of course, your shrimp eggs. I showed you them before. Um, then you need some scissors. 
you need um, what are these called? Um, can't remember what these are called, but you know, you guys know what it is. You know, you use it to drink a drinking straw. That is what they're called. Get one of these. Um, get something that is like light green or something like that. That is pretty clear, just because it looks better. Um, all right, and then we also need some airline tubing. Then we need an air pump. Then we need a soda bottle. Two liter is awesome. Um, that is enough room for your um, small little guys. You need, you do need to have the cap because um, I'm going to show you that later. So now what you do, you take your scissors and um, you basically cut the soda bottle up here in the middle. So um, I'm just going to show you that. Right. Well, I'm going to skip this, guys, because it's going to be a little bit. Um, a pain with this one because it's actually pretty strong. So see you guys there. All right. So a little tip: if um, it is very very strong, the plastic is very very thick. You just get a razor blade. But then you got two parts right here. Now let me just do some focusing here so you guys can see this. All right. So what you do? I'm just going to remove these things here. I'm going to place it here. And there we go. Then you place the under part like this. Um, it's sort of a foot. Then, because of the cap, there's not going to run water down here, so you just place it tightly, squeeze it down there as good as you can. I just want to mention that this thing here is just because the sort of cap this one is, it's just a little bit weird, but it looks pretty cool actually. But yeah. So you need a large surface surface area for aeration, uh, but now you got quite a lot of room um, for your little fry. Um, or well, not fry, but brine shrimp babies. So what you'll do is get some warm water. Um, so see you guys there. All right. So I got a glass of warm water, which is about 28 degrees Celsius. And uh, basically, the next step is just to pour it down here. So let's do that. And let's go get another glass because we want to fill it completely. See you guys there. Alright, so the next glass. Alright, so we gonna need a little bit more. Alright, here we go. The last glass. And there we go. So there is about maybe um, like zero point, oh well, it's probably close to a liter right here. So that is enough and I can already feel that it's pretty warm. So uh, what we're going to do is take, just want to put this to the side and you can see it's very stable so it won't um, you know, fall, fall apart or anything like that. So, you see here we got the drinking straw, and uh, on my drinking straw that I bought, it got this, um, you know, this thing here which can turn it around. I don't want this, so I'm just going to take the scissors and cut it. Just like that. Make sure that it's not sharp, the end right here. Alright, so there we go. Then you will take the air tubing and you'll basically use this as your um, air stone so let's get this one up you just put this inside of it can be a little bit hard to push it um, in there but you can actually get it in there somehow so I'll just put it in here and I'll go back to you guys after that Alright, so I got it on there, um, with a little bit of luck, um, I'm just quickly going to tell you how I actually managed to do this. My dad actually helped me, because I was like, it's too big, uh, too small. So, what he did, he took a screwdriver down the air tubing, and basically it expanded it, as you can see. Oh man, this is hard to focus on. But he um, used a screwdriver, put it down there, and let it expand for about um, like 30 seconds. Then he quickly put this one in, and then it, um, the 
air tubing is going to sit very very tightly on this um, this drinking straw and it's going to sit very very tightly so let's get to the next step should we alright guys so I've plugged in my um, air pump and so basically we're going to take uh, the air tubing onto the I'm just going to show you something here like um, a little experiment I guess you can say um, where you basically I'm going to know how this works. So you put down the drinking straw down there. We'll turn on this. Oh, <laughs> but you'll see it will make a lot of bubbles. Beautiful. It will make perfect amount of bubbles and a lot of turbulence, which is required to hatch the brine shrimp eggs. So yeah, really, really easy, really simple, and it works great. So yeah, we're going to put this down into the bottle. So see you guys there. Alright, so as you saw with the uh, oil pot, oh my cat is going around, but as you saw with the oil pot, the air tubing was going crazy, it was going away, but that was because it didn't really have a stable place to hold. So look at this. There you go. Lots of oxygenation. It's going to make a lot of noise, um, and if it goes the wrong direction or anything like that, you uh, just go around with the uh, drinking straw. So yeah, it will sit tidily and it will uh, create a lot of oxygen. So the next step you're going to do is, sorry for the noise on the branch rim hatchery, but then you'll take this, open it, You'll basically take some eggs like this. I'm going to open this. One thing to quickly remember, you want to read the instructions on how many eggs you're going to put in. So I'm just going to read that in a second. So see you guys there. All right guys, so I have read the instructions and basically, um, as you can hear, it's very loud. So that's why I'm yelling a little bit. Um, although it says about three um, small little like dips of it or something like that. So that is what we are going to do, we are going to pour that down there. And um, a quick little thing, you want to have it um, at a half liter. This is about a liter of capacity, uh, which is enough. Um, but you know, you want to have it at at least 0 0.5 liters. A liter is best, as I have heard, um, because I haven't done this before actually. But um, you just get a your measuring spoon, I'm um, going to take some up, here I'm going to place it over here. I'm going to pour some in by getting some into this. Need a little bit more, maybe. All right, so we are going to put this in, and you can see it's going to go around water, go crazy. So um, I'm going to add more. We're going to add a lot to get a lot of eggs going and stuff like that. So this is actually really, really awesome. Just look at that, man. That is amazing. All right. So there we go. That is all you need to make it work. Um, and uh, I'm basically going to give you an update on this in um, 24 hours when it should be hatched. So see you guys at that um, point in time. Oh well, <laughs> as in a second for you guys. Alright everybody, so I just wanted to show uh, the progress of this one so far. It has been um, a day since I've put them in. Um, it was yesterday. And uh, you can see the eggs are going crazy in there. There's like thousands and thousands um, I think there's about 10,000 eggs 10 to 15,000 eggs um, maybe even more um, it looks a little bit like on here on the camera it looks a little bit like the um, the stuff that is in television when it uh, can't get signal anyways um, just a little tip um, I couldn't sleep tonight because this one was just making way too much noise but I actually got um, a way to fix this 
Um, my dad put one of these things here. I don't know what they're called, but um, it's a little screw you can screw on here, and then it's going to uh, press tightly on the air tubing. Um, and then less air is going to come in because if you have way too many bubbles, both a lot of eggs are going to spread out all over the uh, uh, the the you know the area around it. Even uh, my television was covered in some eggs. So um, just a little tip: get that because uh, some um, can some can actually get this uh, you know um, uh, get like um, what's that called? You know you can. Uh, tell it how much it should blow, uh, how much air it should blow out. But if you just got a normal air pump like me, just use one of these or use something that it can suppress it. Um, if you can uh, put some um, elastic bands really, really tightly on that, that should work as well. Um, but the the uh, pump thing here is actually working very, very well. It's a great system. Um, and the eggs, I have already seen some few rind shrimp hatch already. Um, like a couple of couple of rind shrimp, not a lot though. They are uh, mostly here at the bottom. Um, that is why you're going to harvest your eggs. I'm also going to show you how to harvest them um, and rinse them. Um, so it's going to be a long video, but I mean, you know, you guys need some facts and stuff like that. And uh, you know, what's great about this uh, bottle that I got? It got this big round thing here, which is going to be larger than the water down here. So What's going to happen is that, of course, some eggs are going to get into the bubbles, and when it got up to the surface and pops, it is basically going to spread everywhere. But this is kind of like a shield that is going to absorb it, so they're going to sit here around, um, around the edges. So you can just take a spoon and you can just put it down there, do that um, every day, once a day, and just uh, get a couple of more eggs down there. You'll get much more brine trim like that. Um, but remember, don't have it too powerful. Um, and by the way, the um, the drinking straw just um, um, like put it in the middle here where the cap is because there it sits really tightly. Um, so you can just put it there and it's going to make a lot of bubbles, which is nice. So you can see there's a lot of turbulence in here. It's going absolutely crazy. I can't wait to feed these guys this. Um, another way that I want to tell you guys how to know that your brine shrimp have hatched, there's two things you can do. You can either take your iPhone or some flashlight or your Android phone, um, use flashlight app on them and just uh, light on your um, bottle. And if um, if there's going to be any red, like small spots that is moving um, differently than the eggs just swimming around, then there's probably some that have hatched. Um, and if um, also, you can check here on the surface if there's like these brown, small, like it looks a little bit like eggs, they're just really, really brown. And then it probably means that uh, the eggs have been hatched and then um, it's going to settle on the uh, surface, um, which is basically just like the egg is molding, I guess you can say. Um, it just doesn't get its skeleton again, it just dies. Um, so, yeah. Um, also, what's great about this JBL Artemio mix, which I used, is that there's already um, spirulina and all sorts of things in this. This is a really, really great product. I'm going to make a review on the Sarah one as well, because I've heard good things about it, and it's very, very cheap. I mean, um, for one bag, it was like one dollar, so uh, almost two dollars, um, maybe one point, like one point five dollars or so, so it's crazy. Um, you can just buy a bunch of those and just get them. And they look a little bit like those, you know, those taco mix things you can get in the, um, the supermarket. So yeah, the fry are doing actually, actually quite well. I'm going to make a week update on them soon. But um, I want to feed them the brine, uh, brine shrimp first. Um, so you guys can see that because that is just so funny. But uh, it's working very, very well. Do this, guys. It works amazing. Best hatchery ever, man. Um, by the way, if you don't, uh, if you just buy a hundred percent brine shrimp eggs in like a, a a cap like bottle thing, then um, you know you just put some yeast in there um, with some hot hot water, and that is going to be very very nice because that is, that is uh, basically some bacteria that they're going to eat. Um, so yeah, that is basically all you need to do. Um, it's really really simple. Um, and here will come some uh, some uh, information on how to harvest brine shrimp. So see you guys there. 
All right, guys. So we are back here. Um and yeah. So basically, we are going to harvest them now, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, some people um just take the water from the bottle and pour it into another like cup or something like that, and then they siphon it out with um you know a uh, syringe. But uh, it doesn't work that well because eventually you just kill a lot of um, you know branch shrimp and we uh, rather want to avoid that so how to do this is um, get a syringe with um, and some air tubing attached to it um, make sure that it is as long as the bottle where the water is and branch shrimp then you're just going to take it down here just like this go all the way almost to the bottom I'm going to siphon up just like that. Now I want to make sure that you take off the air tubing so that <laughs> the fry can come, or uh, well, the baby brine shrimp will come out. But for my particular thing here, you can just see. Let me just see if I can focus on this. Can you see that? All those small brine shrimp just sitting and chilling. And um, now I'm going to show you me feeding them to my fries. So see you guys there. Alright, so let's feed these guys with this. By the way, you can also feed this to your corals if you have saltwater aquariums. Because they will actually also live in the live rocks. Um, as long as I've heard. And I can just see all those shrimp moving in there. That is crazy. There's just so many oh my god I just want to focus on this really quickly because this is unbelievable it's hard to see for you guys so I'm not going to do that but uh, we're going to put some down here let's blow some out there you can see they're all there now they'll be swimming around in the tank um, and the small sickle fry will eat them. So let's see if they're going to go crazy on it. And you can already see here that they are beginning to um, eat them. So this is very very healthy for your fish. Um, and uh, yeah, it is just awesome. I mean this is amazing. Um, I'm sorry to say that I'm going to make the review of these Ryan shrimp in another video, but um, for now, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I still got thousands of them, so they will last for a very long time. So, yeah, see you guys in another video, and thank you for watching.